For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Following a robust performance in the second quarter, Palantir Technologies has further impressed investors by revealing an expanded collaboration with Microsoft. This partnership is focused on providing analytics and artificial intelligence services to various defense and intelligence agencies within the federal government. By aligning with one of the leading technology companies, Palantir aims to enhance its capabilities and broaden its reach in the government sector, which has been a cornerstone of its business model. Palantir has established its reputation by aiding United States government intelligence agencies in tracking and combating terrorism through its data analytics platform. The company has built a strong foundation by offering innovative solutions that enable agencies to gather, analyze, and visualize vast amounts of data. However, in recent years, government contracts have become a challenging area for the company. The United States government has historically been Palantir's largest client, but growth in this sector has slowed considerably. Total revenue from government contracts, including international clients, increased by only 19%. In 2022 and decreased to 14% in 2023. This year, there has been a modest recovery, with total government revenue climbing 23% year over year to $371 million in the second quarter. Additionally, United States government revenue rose 24% to $278 million. These figures indicate a positive trend, suggesting that Palantir's efforts to revitalize its government business may be yielding results. Nevertheless, this growth still lags behind the company's commercial segment, which experienced a remarkable 33% year over year year surge, reaching $307 million. Notably, United States commercial revenue soared by 55% to $159 million, highlighting the disparity in growth rates between the two sectors. The collaboration with Microsoft aims to reignite growth within the United States government sector. This integration is expected to streamline operations and enhance the efficiency of government agencies in utilizing Palantir's advanced analytics tools. Additionally, the partnership will leverage Azure's OpenAI service, incorporating its advanced language models such as GPT-4 into Palantir's Foundry software and its artificial intelligence platform. This technological synergy is poised to create innovative solutions that can address complex challenges faced by government agencies. A major objective of this alliance is to accelerate deployments, especially concerning the artificial intelligence platform. Together with Microsoft, Palantir plans to conduct boot camps designed for the defense and intelligence communities to trial the technology. These boot camps will serve as a platform for government personnel to engage with the technology hands-on, allowing them to understand its potential applications and benefits. Palantir has successfully attracted new clients through its boot camps in the commercial sector and aims to replicate this success within the federal sector. These sessions will provide essential training and showcase how the artificial intelligence platform can be utilized in mission-critical operations and other applications, ultimately driving adoption and increasing revenue. One challenge facing Palantir's government operations is that they often involve contract work for specific initiatives. This project-based nature of government contracts can lead to fluctuations in revenue, making it difficult for Palantir to establish a consistent income stream. By integrating the artificial intelligence platform into a broader range of government functions, Palantir could establish a more sustainable and recurring revenue stream. Offering artificial intelligence services to various defense and intelligence agencies represents a significant opportunity, and the partnership with Microsoft should facilitate the approval process, enabling Palantir to secure more long-term contracts. Palantir has demonstrated the effectiveness of its technology, yet its valuation remains a concern for many investors. Currently, the stock is trading at a forward price-to-sales ratio of approximately 20 times based on analyst projections for 2025. Given that the company's revenue growth is under 30%, this valuation appears steep. To validate such a high multiple, revenue growth would need to exceed 30%. While Palantir has begun to see an upswing in its United States government business, this partnership could further enhance that growth. However, the current stock price may already reflect these expectations, leaving little room for further appreciation unless the company can deliver exceptional results. I believe that Palantir has promising long-term potential, but due to its valuation, I would prefer to wait for a more favorable buying opportunity. Even the most successful tech companies experience downturns in stock prices, and I would rather exercise patience than pursue shares at current valuations. In summary, Palantir Technologies is making significant strides by partnering with Microsoft to enhance its offerings to government agencies, particularly in the defense and intelligence sectors. This collaboration aims to leverage advanced cloud services 
services and artificial intelligence capabilities, which could revitalize Palantir's growth in a segment that has seen some stagnation in recent years. Despite recent improvements in revenue from government contracts, the company still faces challenges in maintaining consistent growth compared to its commercial operations. Investors remain cautious due to the high valuation of the stock, which may already incorporate optimistic growth expectations. Overall, while the partnership with Microsoft presents a substantial opportunity for Palantir, careful consideration of the stock's current valuation is warranted. The next few quarters will be crucial in determining whether this partnership can translate into sustained growth and profitability for Palantir. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.